Welcome to What All Customers Want, a Job Queue Restarter. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, as the title says, a, uh, a thing that so many customers want that I have created for uh, a lot of folks uh, in many different shapes is the ability to, you know, to restart job queues automatically that has failed for some other reason. And the only thing you want to do is go in there and uh, no, and and restart them. And you can see here on mine, uh, I have this you know that unreliable thing here that needs to run and it's an error. So I can go in and I can set it to ready again, and then you know it it fails right away apparently. So I want something that instead of me going in here, this is a. I'm, I'm cheating because this one will always error. Um, but nonetheless, I want this one to you know, keep going. It, it needs to run. And and if it fails, the only thing there is to do is to restart it again. Um, so let's create a job queue restarter. And uh, I have already started a, a new app here. Uh, connected it to my Docker sandbox, which is this guy, and I have downloaded symbols. Um, and one thing off the bat, one thing that's actually important is that don't put the job queue restarter in in with your other apps, in, in inside whatever app it is. The problem is, that dependent on how long it takes to deploy an app, a if if the job queue decides to uh, decides to run while you are deploying your app, the job queue will go into error saying, "Hey, this code unit, this report, whatever, whatever it is, does not exist." And you do not want your restarter to go into error. The only thing you do not want forever is the restarter job to go into error because then you need a restarter for the restarter and where does that end? Um, so I always just keep the restarter by, by itself, a single app. Um, and um, basically what I need in, in this app is it's just a single code unit. We can call this restarter L, restarter J. That's probably not going to work. Let's try with restarter.al instead. And let's do a code unit. Job Q restarter. Um, if you have seen the uh, the video on job queue, a friendly job queue. You know that we can we can be fancy and use uh, uh, use the parameter uh, thing if we want to. Uh, but we can make this very very simple to begin with. So we can say trigger on run, um, and then we need to grab a variable. We need to look at the job queue. So let's create the create a variable called jq uh, record job queue entry so when we run this guy we should we should actually just say jq dot set range status and look for jobs that are in error um, and uh, then we can go and say so there, there, there's a couple of questions here that we could we could do if jq just find set then we do the the typical loop here because job queue is just a table uh, but on the job queue record, there's a bunch of very convenient placed functions. And unless I am very mistaken, R is before S. Uh, and that's a functional restart. 
So now we are at 11 lines of code. So if there is a job that goes into error, restart it. Let's deploy this thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, stuff from other apps. That's okay. Uh, and this one is in, in arrow. Um, so actually let's, uh, let's create this at the restarter. So that was a code unit, something with restarter. Can we search here? No, we can't. Can we search here? There we go. JRQ restarter. And this thing should clearly run. all the time. So now it is running. And uh, um, we might be able to see the lock here. GRQ log entries. So it already ran. Uh, the problem is that this one goes back to error straight away. Um, so maybe we need to, if we stop this for a second, let's, uh, I should have thought that. Let's stop this one and says that it should start at uh, 40. Oh, that's, then we have a whole minute to wait. Um, so while that is, that is doing its thing, uh, what we could do here, we could do a lot of things here. We could, we could use the, uh, if, if we change this to actually run on, um, on the, uh, the job queue entry, then we could do a set filter on, on object ID to run and then grab the direct dot uh, parameter string. So we could pass a filter of object IDs that we want to have this thing uh, filter on. Let's see, is it? Now it's 40. This one goes into arrow state. We saw that. Um, and I guess when is this going to start this one? Maybe we'll, it's kind of because this goes into error at the same at once. I should have probably created something better. Um, created a better job that didn't go into error that soon. Anyway. Uh, in a second, this one will probably fire also. Um, so we could make this generic so we could have it look at multiple things instead of everything. So if there are certain jobs that if they went into where we want to keep them in error state, so we only want to restart some some jobs automatically. Uh, and, I, and I guess, you know, if, if, <laughs> if, 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 I or somebody else uh, made this nice and stuff like that. that could probably be an app source thing at some point. But uh, you never know. Maybe when I have a free second or two. Uh, let's see if this one was had been running. Yeah, it ran again, but 
this one went back into error. So if we look at the log of this one, we can see that we got another run here uh, because it was restarted. So the restarter works, um, but this job will just end up in errors. Anyway, that's how simple it is to uh, to make sure that your job queues are running. You can also get fancy and you know email notifications and all sorts of things uh, uh, to let somebody know that hey, I it restarted something, um, or it could be the ten line, thirteen line of lines of code that just restarts, and then you go look at the log if you if you need to. Um, so. That is a thing that I have created in many forms and shapes for, for, for many customers because, you know, uh, especially with, with the CRM integration, because so, so suddenly CRM says, uh, cannot connection to database fail, something, whatever. Uh, and then your replication stops or the synchronization stops and suddenly you're missing customers or orders or whatever it is. Um, so anyway, uh, if you want more AL tips and tricks, you know where to get them right here. And uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.